الا هو ان ذيس موديول ان ذيس هاندز اون بروجيكت اوف بيج ديتا اركيتكتشر ويل امبارك اد اون ا جورني تو ديزاين ا كومبليت بيج ديتا اركيتكتشر اوف ا سوشيال ميديا اناليتكس بلاتفورم With this step-by-step -step approach, we will take a you through each layer of the architecture, detailing how to ensure a fully functional big data system. By the end of this project, we will have the skills and knowledge to develop a big data system that can analyze uh, Twitter and social media data in real time and batch from data ingestion and storage to distributed processing and visualization. We will cover all aspects of big data architecture design. Whether you are a seasonal data professional or just starting in the find, this project is an excellent opportunity to learn about big data architecture and its application in social media analytics. With careful planning, you will be able to design a well-structured big data system that can extract valuable insights from Twitter data or social media in general, helping businesses and organizations uh, make informed decisions. So let's get start started on this exciting journey to design a complete big data architecture for a social media analytics platform. Here are the key steps to follow when designing a big data architecture. When designing a big data architecture, it is so important to follow a systematic approach that to ensure that the architecture is well designed and meets the requirements of the project. Here are some key steps to keep in mind when designing a big data architecture. The first thing is to define your requirements. The first step is to define the requirements of the project. Identify the data sources, the type of data to be processed, and the desired outcomes. Then, you need to choose the right technologies, what we call it the benchmark. Choosing the right technology for each layer of the architecture based on the project requirements. Consider factors such as uh, scalability, performance, and cost. Then, determine the data processing flow. It means that to determine how the data will flow through the, the architecture, from data ingestion to storage, processing and analysis. We have also the key step, optimize for scalability. Indeed, big data architecture should be designed to scale horizontally to handle increasing data volumes. Ensure data security. That means that you need to implement security measures to ensure that the data is protected through the data processing flow. The next step is to test and validate. Test and validate the architecture to ensure that it meets the requirements of the project and perform as expected. And finally, monitor and maintain. You need to monitor the system to detect, to detect and resolve issues. Regularly maintain and update the architecture to ensure that it continues to meet the project requirements. When designing a big data architecture, of, uh, for example, uh, social media analytics, we need to consider multiple layers and uh, we need to con consider first the following steps. We need first to determine the requirements of the social media an analytics use case and identify the layers required for the big data architecture and select the appropriate tools for each layer based on their benchmarking then design each layer based on the specific requirements of the use case. And finally, integrate the layers and test the entire system. Here is the complete big data architecture for a social media analytics platforms. So the layers in this architecture are 
data source, data ingestion layer, data storage layer, data processing layer, data query layer, and data visualization layer. And don't forget the data workflow management and scheduling, which is on the it's Apache Airflow. We can notice here in this in this uh, architecture different tools, and we'll now explain each tool, each uh, layer separately. The first step in designing a social media analytics platform is to identify the data source that we want to analyze. Which data sources? It can be Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. For example, if we want to use Twitter, we need to extract Twitter data. We will use, for example, Twitter streaming API. For that, we need to create a Twitter developer account and obtain the necessary API keys to access the data. Then, for the data ingestion layer, we'll, we can use Apache Kafka as a message broker to collect data from Twitter API. Uh, we, we can set up Kafka in a cluster and create a Kafka topic to store the Twitter data. We have also the data storage layer where we can store the data ingested with Kafka. We can use Apache Hadoop as a, a distributed file system to store Twitter data. And uh, in a Hadoop distributed file system, we also, we also can use Apache uh, Archbase to create uh, tables and, and uh, indexes and uh, and uh, store data on top of HDFS in HBase indexes. Then the data processing pro layer. In distributed processing layer, we can use Apache Spark to process the social network data in real time. We can set up Spark cluster and use Spark streaming to process the data. We also use the Apache Kafka to ingest the processed data back into Kafka topic. We can also use Apache Flink or Storm for batch and stream processing. Otherwise, we can use Hadoop MapReduce for batch processing. We have here batch processing and stream processing. In ba the batch processing store the data stored in the data lake, but the stream processing process data in real time. We don't need to store the data in the data lake to be stored, uh, processed in uh, stream processing. The results of the data processed are can be stored in an index in uh, Elasticsearch. Uh, for example, before being uh, visualized in uh, in Kibana dashboard or uh, uh, Tableau and the Superset or uh, Apache Zeppelin, there are many uh, data visualization tools for that purpose. We have here the querying, the data querying with Apache Hive. We can also query the data uh, from the data stored in the data lake uh, with Hive. And and finally, Apache Airflow to for uh, data workflow management and uh, scheduling. We can uh, we can schedule and manage our data pipeline uh, uh, and schedule tasks like uh, data ingestion, data processing, and data querying. If we look at the big data architectures that we explained in the previous uh, modules, here, are, here is the final big data architecture. We have Kibana and Elasticsearch, Spark and Flink, 
Hatch based and Hadoop as data lake, Kafka in data ingestion, and the data source as a Twitter. Airflow as workflow management and scheduling.